bad as I thought. Here's what I thought it was going to be. I can clean that little bit off. That ain't too bad. Clean the tracks out again. Maybe that'll be the last time the mud gets in there. We'll see what it looks like in the morning. We'll try to dig some more on it. So thank you for watching these videos. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.
they just got the the tank topsoil and everything got it checked out earlier so got a little bit of water in the bottom of it that'll kind of get it primed for the rain but it's nice it's not salty water at all so that's a good thing so got it all topsoil fixing to head over to the location number two and get that one kind of ready to start building and get my topsoil stripped and everything so I'll let you see that after this and after I got it finished and dressed off and everything so it made a nice hole the ground hadn't got so hard down there I would have went a little bit deeper with it I had room to but it is what it is that's what they say so this is the spillway right here it'll go between the dam and then it'll go out and go back into that creek there so, dressed off pretty good so. anyway we'll let y'all see some of that other one when we get over and get it kind of laid laid out it, it's laid out but i tell you when i get it all kind of cleared off before we get started let you see some of that one as we're building it so again thank you for watching this channel if you hadn't subscribed go ahead and do that hit the like button and enjoy the comments and the feedback that i get till we get over and get to digging again this is james with does more moving dirt keep your blade shining your tracks clean Okay, I just left the tank that we'd finished and I was on my way over here to the other one and the landowner told me the other day that he had a tank he was worried about. He said he had it worked on and he said, I'm afraid that it might go over the dam before it goes around the spillway. So I was going to look at it this morning. It was just so cold. So I just waited till this evening and I was coming behind it. So I stopped and got my level out and sure enough, I shot the spillway, which was right here and it was a foot and a half higher than the top of the water and when then i shot the the dam and it was places there was just three tenths of free board and four tenths and i usually like to put about three uh, foot of free board so obviously i don't really know what happened either that settled but a lot of times you get people that either don't know what they're doing or they just don't care what they're doing and uh that could have been avoided if they'd have just stopped and pulled out a level and, and checked the, the dam and they got all this dirt piled over here and that could have been used on top of the dam over here they, it's just not tall enough so uh anyway the best thing i mean i asked him if he was like the water level he said well i liked it a little bit taller than what it is or more water in it and i said well if you do you're not going to have no dam because it's going to go over it uh, three tenths of a foot a freeboard is just not going to work and i come behind this dam when i was going to dip, dip, build the first tank and there's water running out of the back of it so obviously the the dirt was either put on grass or it, it's awful re, uh, uneven back here like this might have been mud that was pulled out of the tank and if that's the case it settled a lot uh, but still he just he he can't put no more water in this hole before without raising this dam up so uh, but the way this is uneven back here i just imagine this was mud and then they just didn't put no more dirt over here or it who knows but see there's water here's where i went with the dozer when I was coming back behind here and I got um, too close to the back of the dam, well, that's all wet about the bottom two foot of that dam. Uh, so anyway, what I did was lower the spillway a foot and a half and that'll save him, uh, save his dam possibly until he get this raised up and everything. And here's another spot. This was about four tenths too low here. And it's just a pretty rough little deal, but you can see where I started bringing the dirt around. That's what it needs to be all the way around. This thing needs probably two or three foot of dirt on it to make it good and safe. And 
for some reason when they was digging this out they curved this dam around and should have just went straight to where i got that flag and got it high enough as quick as they could and if i'd left the spillway the way it was water was trying to spill around between the dirt and that them trees and it was going to come around this way and if it had done that it would just eat this dam all out so uh so now the spillway is uh, the level of the water right now so that'll hopefully save this dam until he can kind of get this raised up he's got a little bit of equipment he could kind of bring some of that dirt over here and put it on here but this is really low and i mean i i'm glad i could help him out at least save it until he could get it raised up but that's what i was doing i hadn't got to where the other tank site yet and that's what i was doing when i come by here so anyway i'm going to hook it back to the pickup and pull my pickup and fuel trailer over there to that other tank site that's all i'm going to do today i guess get over there for dark it's kind of hazy you can see all this smoke out that right way there's been a grass fire back northeast of us somewhere it looks like they got it out or it burned itself out so see they piled a bunch of dirt out of this hole over here and it would have been just as easy to put it over here and whenever you put got mud underneath the tank dam you've either got to push it back far enough or if you put enough dry dirt over it you'll push the mud out and it'll be solid with that dry dirt but a lot of stuff can go on on these things so and a foot and a half of dirt don't sound like a lot of dirt to lower a spillway by the time you arch it around and get it the same level all around in a semi-circle that adds up to be a lot of dirt and right here was the highest part of the spillway it was a foot and a half and then it kind of went downhill but it's good and flat and like i say it's just it's right at the water level so that'll save his dam but you can see how low that is all the way all the way over to that other side this was the only spot that was tall enough when i checked it out with my level that didn't need no dirt here for the first 50 foot of this so anyway i thought i'd let you see it i started to set up before i started it and i was trying to get it finished and so i can get moved for a dark over there so again thank you for watching we'll let you see that other pond when we get it started bye